Hello! Welcome to Craftwork. Welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome for the first time if this is your first time here. Um, what we're doing with Craftwork is that every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. I'm on, Mike's running computer, and um, other people are on and commenting and we're all doing crafts together. Tonight I am going to be doing some flower and leaf and produce um, printing and smashing on fabric. I went out after the first thunderstorm today and collected some fallen leaves and flowers and um, I picked a couple weeds and um, oh wow a subscriber right away that's fun. <laughs> um, yeah so I went out today and I picked up a bunch of things that had fallen after the storm um, I got caught in another thunderstorm on my way home, but I collected all these things from our neighborhood in Brooklyn, um, and I kind of feel like, I don't know, if you're also in Brooklyn, I'm sure you'd be able to find plenty of things in nature, too. It was exciting how many flowers and leaves and things I could find even in our concrete city. Um, and if you're not in New York, then you probably have even more options if you wanted to do something like this on your own. Um, so if you want to craft along with me and you want to take a picture of what you're doing and send it to highlyviolet at gmail.com, we'll put the picture up on the screen so that everyone can see. And if you have questions or anything to say, there's a comment box on the side. Um, so say hi, I can see it over there. And Mike is over there typing and um, communicating with you guys through the chat as well. Um, so yeah, say hi if you're here. Um, and I'm just gonna get right into it. So to be honest, I haven't really done a lot of this. Um, I feel like as a kid, I did some like leaf printing. Um, I don't completely remember how to do it, but I brought myself some thickened dyes. Uh, I just got a pink, a blue, and a green. I have a bunch of like fabric paints that I'm going to play around with. And then I'm also going to try to squeeze some of the colors out of the, the flowers and see what happens, but this is totally like an experiment for me. Um, so yeah, if there's anyone on here that has ideas, like as I'm doing it, that has ideas of maybe what I should do or how I should work with it, I'm happy to hear. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna be playing around here. And if any of you decide to do this on your own, I encourage you to just play around with it too. Um, I picked, out of the fridge, I picked some cabbage that was like on its last legs. I just cut a little piece of that off so I could play with it. And I think what I'll do with this cabbage when I'm done is rinse it off and use it to dye. I actually dyed, used the red cabbage to dye with the other day and I got these really pretty purple color out of it. So I think I'll use the leftover for that. But for now, I'm just gonna paint on some dye and see if I can make a nice print with it. I'm kind of assuming that like the produce and the leaves are going to work as a block print. Let's see. Huh. Huh, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see, maybe if I'm not so harsh. Like I said, this is totally just me experimenting and like playing around in real time. I was going to test it before the stream tonight. I was going to test it like this afternoon and then I didn't. <laughs> I realized like why? You can just watch me test it. I hope that's entertaining. I kind of expected this to be like more defined. So maybe if I use a paint instead of a dye, it's still kind of cool how it's like creating texture. I feel like I could go around and print on the whole thing like that. It would be cool. But I just want to see what I can get with this paint. 
This is a jacquard textile color that I've had for like probably two years. So it's kind of starting to dry out, but it's still active. And it's, this stuff is great. I love this. It's like, works just like paint, but then it adheres to the fabric really nicely. Hi, Amber. Welcome back. Oh yeah, that works a little bit better. I hope everyone out there is doing well. It's nice to come on here and um, sort of feel like I'm hanging out with my friends. Oh, hi, Brittany. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm having fun with it. <laughs> if you, um, if you want to craft along at all, if you didn't hear my spiel already, um, if you're working on anything on your own, you can send a photo to highlyviolet at gmail.com and then we'll put it up and then, um, I can see it, and then anyone else that's on the stream can see it. Oh, that one worked really well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think the paint is the way to go with the cabbage. Hi. Um, and yeah, if anyone has any questions or things to say, I can obviously see the chat and um, everyone else can too. Hmm. Oh, we are. Amber says we're close to our 100 goal. Thanks for um, bringing that up, too. I should probably push it. If, if anyone is watching and hasn't subscribed yet, it's true. We have a goal. Um, we're somewhere in the 90s now, I believe. I think with um, the Scott Brittany, the Scott slash Brittany um, subscri subscription, we're probably at like 92 or something. Yeah. Um, and once we get to 100, we can change the URL to say um, slash highly violet instead of like the random string of numbers, which is great because that makes it easier for people to search for us. Um, and then we're a little bit closer to our larger goal of being able to live stream straight from the phone, um, which is something we'd like to be able to do whenever it is that we actually get out there and are walking around the city. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for this, this subscribe so far from all of you who have. And if you haven't, we appreciate it if you do. This is weird and cool. I want to see how these press too, but I think I should wait. I'm going to keep trying to like print with things and see how that goes. Maybe I should change my color. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. The pine cone is kind of fun. I had a feeling it like, it just creates nice texture. I feel like that's like what I'm, what I'm always looking for. Anyway, so this is cool. Yeah, it just needs to be like rolled. Like that. This shirt I had already started um, testing some stuff on, like just testing color. So this will just continue to be my test shirt. And then I have some other stuff that I am going to print on. Um, if any of you wanted to try and do something like this uh, at home, so like I'm using these textile paints and dyes that I've thickened, which I don't expect everyone to have. Um, you can totally just use, like you could do this on paper easily with paint. And then you also, I think acrylic paint, like kind is like semi-permanent on fabric. Um, if anyone knows, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that that works. And even like, hmm, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, that's probably, if you wanted to do it on fabric, that would probably be if you don't have like actual fabric paints or dyes or something, that would probably be a cool option. Um, and I guess if you're doing it on something like a, like a jean jacket or something that you don't like wash that much, then it wouldn't really matter. Um, oh, Amber says she looks forward to this every week. That's awesome. Thanks. I look forward to it every week too. I like being able to feel like we're crafting together. I know that I know that a number of people now have been been here every week and have been making stuff and like putting projects aside just for this this part of the week and that's so cool. I feel like it's really important right now to if you can and it's a way that like you like to get stress out, it's a good time to be creative. It's important for me at least. I don't know. I can't speak for anyone else. I found a whole chunk of this, like, <laughs> it was just like, it was all over these little petals. I don't know what they are. Does someone know what they are? Oh, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon's playing his video games in peace. Nice. I feel like Mike's probably going to want to know what video games he's playing. Um, I'm going to, I'll like, so I have a hammer here that I'm going to use later to like try and hammer some color in. But I pushed one of these little, oh, it's hard to see. I pushed one of these little flowers into the fabric um earlier and it makes a nice yellow so I think I'm just gonna like try a little more of that I'll get the hammer out later this what I'm doing right now like I have no idea if this is going to be permanent or not I don't even know what those flowers are so there's like no way for me to know the dye and the paint I have enough experience with that I that I know that'll stick um I'll probably like heat set it later for sometimes that helps with the natural stuff but also um the paint is likes to be heat set um but I hope these little flowers stick they make a that's a pretty yellow color that they make Oh, nice. We've got a craft. Our first craft of the night. Um, yeah, that looks great. I think that's my mom, right? A bowl of oranges. <laughs> I heard about that. I heard about this earlier. So I'm kind of cheating with my knowledge here, but um, that looks cool. 
Nice start. Okay, I'm going to try, hmm, I guess I'll try and print one of these leaves. I don't know what'll happen. I'm using another thing that I just had uh, in the box. It's um, set a color, Canary Shimmer. I like the color name. It's probably why I bought it in the first place. <laughs> um, this is not a brand that I work with very often, but it should, I'm assuming it works the same way. I don't know, the instructions are in French, so we'll see. I'm just going to paint it onto the leaf and then um, print it like, you know, we'll see. And I guess I don't care if it gets a little, like I was trying to be careful at first, but I guess I'm just going to let it like get onto the shirt too while I'm painting it here. This is just, this is just, I'm just getting started. Maybe I'll even make like an outline of the leaf while I, why not? Yeah. Oh, that worked well. Can you see it in the... I shouldn't have used such a bright color, I guess, for the camera. I, it looks really good in person. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it again with a darker color because you can see, like, the little veins and stuff in it. It's cool. I wonder if the same... I think I can probably reuse the same leaf. try and like wash it off and then put a new color on it. I don't know if that's necessary. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing around. This is not like, this isn't like a thing that I do. Maybe it'll become a thing I do. Marbled pet portraits was not a thing I did until two weeks ago. And <laughs> I'd like that to become a new part of my, my know-how. Or my life. Um, okay, maybe I'll try. I'm gonna use this burnt orange, shimmery burnt orange. Oh, oh, cool! Someone's doing it along with me. I'll have to do that. Looks like an orange print. I'll have to do the lime because I think that's the only thing that's similar that I have. Who's, who sent that? Was it? Oh, it was my mom. Nice. Oh, oh, I didn't see that comment. I just used acrylic paint and an orange half and printed it on paper. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. Um, I'm going to put uh, this one. I'm going to try the leaf in a darker color. And then I'm going to do it on a lime, too, because I want to see if that looked cool. I was also going to use oranges and apples and stuff, and then I realized, like, we're getting grocery delivery once a week, and, like, I want to eat those. I don't want to <laughs> use them to print with. 
And we only have like three apples left until Thursday, so. But I think, I mean, there's plenty of stuff, like, you could use, I think you could use, like, a potato and an apple um, or any, like, other thing like that to carve into. Um, oh, that looks good. Yeah. I like how you can see the whole leaf. And the leaf itself is pretty now, too. Can you see that? This is a very kindergarten class looking. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, it's just tests, but. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that line like I said I would. I'm gonna put it right over this green spot. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I think I just need more paint. I was trying to be like light with it because I thought, I don't know, let's see, does this one work? That worked better, but it still didn't work as well as my mom's orange. <laughs> oh, the orange had a bad half. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I picked this cabbage, too. Also, this lime has been, this lime I thought I was going to use and I didn't use. <laughs> why is mine not turning out like yours? Um, maybe I just need more paint. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I guess I just needed a lot more paint. I wonder if I can wash it off and use it again. doesn't seem to be washing off. I'll let it dry. I have another half, too. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, you can't see it, huh? You can really... That, I, maybe it was like... Oh, it was dry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I was going to dry my limes and orange. Well, I was going to use oranges and I was going to dry them. And then when I decided not to, I didn't. And I just, the lime I just cut into like a few hours ago. So maybe that, maybe it does need to dry out a little, but it's all a test. Let's see what happens if I dunk a little flower in some dye. No. Let's see what happens if I paint some paint on a flower. That's cute. Doesn't look like a flower, but it's cute. It's like a sprinkle or something. 
Yeah, I like that. Hmm. What else have I not played around with? I like these little, um, what are these called? These were like, these had a cute name, didn't they? Does anyone remember the cute name for these things? Or am I making that up? I feel like they had like, like wh twisty whistle or something like, something cute. <laughs> See if they print. Ooh, yeah, that looks, I like that a lot. It's like, I like the ones that are really abstract, but like, like if you know what it is, you can see the detail, but then like, if you don't know what it is, it just looks like a pattern. I feel like that's, that's what I'm liking so far. Like the leaves and the and the lime are really cool too, but I feel like for whatever I might want to use this for, I this kind of thing is more interesting to me. Like the cabbage and these whoop-dee-doos or whatever they were called. Amber likes the leaf. Nice. I think it's really cool because it like you can totally tell what it is. I'm like thinking it would be cool if it was like one, like I think I would like like one leaf print or maybe even like a bunch over top of each other to like then like make it abstract. Oh, I can make this into like a butterfly. But it's cool. I guess it would be cool like on paper, like as a, it would be like a really nice like card or something. But I'm always thinking my first, I'm always like when I'm testing things, I'm always thinking about it as like, how would you put it on clothing and wear it? Brittany's asking if her account subscribed. I don't know. Um... We get, we can only, there must be some setting on YouTube because we can only see um, like half of our subscribers. So we only, yeah, we never, we don't know who everyone is. Um, I think it's like if you're set to public, then it shows up. And if you're set to private, it doesn't show up, but it still counts as a number. Um, but I guess, Mike, you can check if we, if like we have an up, if it went up. By one. Because the little zombie guy showed up when, when Scott's account subscribed, and that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I like how these to make it look like a little butterfly. It's cute. The leaf is really cool. Okay, so that one. No one knows what these were called, huh? <laughs> Aren't they the little, they're like the little things that fall down and like spin around, like a whirly, whirly gigs or something? Maybe that's it. Mike's shaking his head like maybe. I don't know. I think I have to get over it. I want to see what this bark does. Color should this it doesn't matter. I think I try. Let's try the dye. Oops, I found a bug. <laughs> Oh, 
it's kind of cool. It like doesn't really show the texture like of the bark itself, but it just creates like extra texture into that. Okay, hmm. I feel like I'm almost ready to to like do this on something other than this test shirt. I'm not quite ready, but like almost ready. <laughs> Is this like? Yeah, I guess see if this. I feel like this, I picked this up because I thought it might be nice to like just paint over. Like it might block it a little bit. Of course I'm using the dye that's going to bleed a lot. Oh no, that worked. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I have a whole pine, whole branch of it, so that Maybe I'll do that on something. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll see if this, I'm gonna see if this little leaf does any, oh, no, I wanna save that to see if it makes color. Hmm. I wonder if this will work with the dye. Oh, kind of. Maybe the, maybe the citrus stuff needs to be more like wet than thick. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Start one for the round brush. I feel like I should just fill the bottom of this up, like, definitely wouldn't leave this like this, but I think I might like fill the bottom up with more texture and then over dye it or something. I mean, on camera, it kind of looks cool, actually. <laughs> Whirly birds, that's it. That was the name, that's what I was searching for. Those little guys, these little guys. Whirly birds, ah, thanks for reminding me. This is fun. This is like, I'm happy that, um, 
like we did the we did a weaving night here and then that was like something that I know really well and that's nice to do because it's totally just like calm and I don't have to really think about it at all um and then we did that marbling and like I expected it to be the same where I would know what I was doing the whole time and then people like gave me suggestions of things to marble that are like not things that you would typically marble and so I had no idea what I was doing and it and like stuff ended up looking really cool and I had a great time um and I remembered how nice it is to just like not know what you're doing with this stuff I'm so used to being like the textile expert um and this has been so enjoyable just to like mess around a little bit um and this is I mean it's how I it really is just how I test things too like I'm not gonna I like to dye stuff in an untraditional way um it's like what my business is so it's not gonna like grow and change unless I do this kind of thing anyway um, so this is a nice, this is a nice opportunity for me. I'm really liking the way that this works as a resist. <laughs> Do you put the whirly birds on your nose? <laughs> I don't remember that, but I like can picture it now. Oh, happy um, belated six months to Marley. She's such a cutie. And Arlo is too. Oh, he's watching? Nice. Brittany's baby is watching. <laughs> That's so cool. Maybe he'll start crafting early. Okay. So this is all filled up. I'll um I guess I'll just put it to the side. I really this part's really cool. Can you see this in the camera? Yeah. I guess you can kind of see it. I really like the pine needle like using the pine needle as a resist here. I mean the lot and then the lime looks cool too there. I like all of this. And then this part is the the big pine branch all just like flattened down. Cool. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side so I can use it as like a reference for myself. And then I have some other stuff that I want to maybe do a little more intentionally. This t-shirt was just a test. Oh, I guess I can show it on the big screen. Yeah, that's kind of an easier way to see it. This was just a test to see like what did what um, as far as printing goes. So, but then I have like a pair of white pants that I want to print on and an, a dress that are both like not something that I wear a lot, but I also kind of want to be a little more intentional about how I fill it up. Um, the shirt I'll probably just like over dye and it'll be textured and cool. Um, but now I have to kind of consider 
of more what I want to do with these guys. Lots of cool, yeah, no, this is totally like, I feel like this is good, good baby watching baby TV. It's like flowers and leaves and fruit and colors. Okay, so this is a, I have this linen dress that I'm gonna do something on once I figure it out. <laughs> um, this is, I did a collaboration with Eileen Fisher a couple of years ago and this was like, this is leftover. They sent me a bunch of white stuff to mess around with and um, weave with, with Friends of Light. And um, I used pretty much all of it except for this piece. And it's a nice dress, so might as well wear it. Um, I think I would like to actually on this one test a little bit of the um, flower pounding, which actually, hmm, I might need fresh water. Mike, can you get me some fresh water? Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm going to want to dampen the fabric a little bit and then put the flowers on and pound them. Um, that should just help to make it absorb if it's going to. Um, another thing that you can do if this is something you want to do on your own is to... Um, soak the fabric in soy milk first but you want but you have to use like soy milk that you've made yourself it can't be store-bought because it can't have any of those additives in it um or if you happen to have like dyeing material like alum or something um that would also work thank you so i'll just wet this fabric a little bit. Looks like our tiny camera is out of focus a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do to fix that. Oh, it's better. Nice. I would normally do this with a spray bottle, but I didn't want to bring a spray bottle in here because we have all this tech stuff. I feel like <laughs> I didn't want to risk spraying the camera or something. Um, so this is a little tedious. I guess I also could have grabbed a bigger brush. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do this test on the top part and see how it goes.
Okay, so this area here that I want to work with is wet. Um, I'm going to fold this under. I'm going to hammer this so it's going to be kind of loud, but we're going to turn the volume. We don't have to turn the volume down yet because I'm not ready yet, but um, we will when I say so. And um, But I'm going to put some fabric underneath just to like dampen the sound a little bit. Um, so I'm going to lay, I have like these uh, dandelions that I'm going to lay flat that I think are going to produce color. Again, like I have no idea if any of this is going to work. <laughs> um, these guys, I was able to get color out of just with like my fingernails, so I feel like these should work. I'm just like sprinkling it around and then i um, going to pound it in. Actually, too much fabric though. Oh, pine is the new fave. Nice. Yeah, I like, I just think the texture is really cool. I found these, just a handful of tiny little, really pretty purple flowers, too, um, that I hope give off some color because they're so pretty. I don't know what they are either. I'm kind of trying to like design this a little bit because um, ideally uh, like wherever it's pounded in is where it should print. Um, is there a little bit of a whirly bird? See if that half works or whatever this is. Nice. I saw this tree that was so pretty with this red color. And, um, but I didn't want to pick it off the branches. And then there was just this one piece that had already fallen. Okay, um, almost there. Oh, cool. Um, I can't tell who that's from, but somebody is refinishing a... Oh, is that... Yeah, nice. Refinishing that bookshelf. That's going to look great. Oh, it was Brittany. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Are you actually working on that right now? We'll find out in about 30 seconds. <laughs> cool. 
Um, I'm going to hammer. Mike's going to turn the volume on the microphone down so that it doesn't hurt everyone's ears because it'll be loud. Um, oh, thanks, Brittany. It's fun to do. Um, and then I'm going to hammer this, and then we'll turn the volume back up once that's done. So I'm putting, can they, I think you can still hear me a little bit. I'm putting a, another piece of fabric over top, and then I'm going to hammer on top, like through. Okay, here we go. Oh, my arm's so tired. That hammer is so heavy. <laughs> um, I tried to hammer all over because that's like what you're supposed to do. It looks like it, yeah, it actually printed on both, oh, on the linen on top too. And it, yeah, it worked. Sweet. Yeah, dandelions look cool. Can you, yeah, you can see it. It's like a little bit brighter in real life. And probably because of this is in the way. But actually, this is cool too. Like, since I wet this to let the color spread a little bit, it, it spread. But then if you can see on the um, linen, it like this on the dry bit, it like imprinted exactly as it was. So that's kind of interesting. I guess I should keep that in mind. Right. I wonder if I can get more. I really want this purple. I feel like I didn't hit the purple enough. I can get more out of that. Let me think of stuff. gonna like smush the flower into the fabric it really like that I had to hammer a lot because if you don't hit like each individual little flower they don't get transferred I don't know if I got, oh yeah, these went a little. Oh. The duck, or uh, the dandelions really did well. Those were the winners. But these little guys, these kind of did a little, that's kind of pretty. I like this. Oh, this makes nice color. I'm just gonna like, wash these flowers in with my fingernail. 
anything that I didn't get with the hammer. I feel like if I wasn't concerned about the sound right now, I would probably just grab the hammer and like pound it without the fabric in between, but um, this will work. I want like a, maybe I can just, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna see if I can do this. <laughs> kind of works. Works better though. This is cool. I don't know, like, I guess I'll have to update everyone. I don't know if this is all going to be uh, color fast in the wash or not. I think to some degree, I would, I would guess that it will be, but I don't know if it's like, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know how much. We'll have to check back in. Oh, hi, Sophie. Hmm. I wish I had more of the little flower, the little purple flowers. Those are so pretty. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, you're just showing, oh, for anyone that's coming in now, um, this is the shirt that I was testing on. Um, I have, I'm like printing and printing with flowers and then also like block printing with um, cabbage and limes and flowers and leaves and the, the right there, that's that's the limes on the right and some pine needles on the left. And the limes I like painted onto and then printed and the pine needles, I put the them down on the fabric and used them as like a resist and painted the dye over top. Um, and I'm using a thickened dye that I thickened with some like seaweed stuff. And then I'm also using a Dynaflow fabric paint. Um, and then at the top there, that's more, that's another lime. <laughs> um, and then the blue to the sides of it is from a cabbage. And the little green ring around the cabbage is um, from pine cone. And the little butterfly looking thing, that's a whirly bird. And... You can see the leaves too. Those are leaves. <laughs> um, and that's another pine leaf. 
pine branch. Yeah, pine branch. Like a big boy. Um, and yeah, that's what I was working on before this dress. So if you're just joining us, um, that's your update. What's already happened? Um, oh, uh, Sophie asks, those are all natural colors? No, they are not. <laughs> um, they're this, what I'm like pulling out of the flower right now is just whatever's in the flowers. But, um, but no, I was using thickened Procyon dyes and fabric paints to print with the, but I'm using like the leaves and the tree bark and pine cones and flowers and um, some produce just to like as the block. Um, but the color is not coming out of those. I wish those were natural colors that I could make. Those are so bright. That would be really cool. Maybe one day. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of a nice little top. I think I'm satisfied. Now I have to figure out how to get this off of my little station here. Bump it. Oh, I forgot to put this in here. I wanted to see if this made any color. It looks like it does. It's so bright. The thing though, like with this, I don't know if it's gonna stick. I, I think that maybe I said that already, but I don't know if it's gonna stick. Like when I wash it. Oh, you can't even see. That's where I just scraped the little bright green leaf. It actually was really bright when I first, it's like already dulling, which is interesting. Yeah, this linen is pretty now, too. I like what happened with the um, dandelions that, like, what is that that makes that? I guess they have little lines in them that come out like this gray-purple in between the bright yellow. That's really nice. I want to do more like that. And this is so pretty. Love those little moments. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake this off, I guess, over here. I didn't think this through. I didn't think about this part. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it went through. Whoa, it went through to the skirt. Huh. It's like on the butt. <laughs> That's not ideal, but it's fine. We'll work with it. We'll work around it. I'll have to print something down there that covers it up or something. That's good to know that it goes through multiple layers. It's been like six layers that it went through. So this is what the front is looking like now. It's kind of hard to see, huh? So I can move it. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so that's what the front's looking like now. So we've got a little bit of like flower power. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, I can show it in here too. Oh yeah, that's a better shot of it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, so now I just have to figure out what to add below. Um, Amber is asking, what flower did you get the purple from? I wish I knew. It was like a little weed kind of thing that was growing all around where the um, dandelions were. I'm looking to see if I still have a little piece of it to show you. I think I smashed them all up. Oh, here's a little tiny piece. Um, maybe you know what it is. I don't know what it is. Can you see that? It's just a tiny little piece that's left. <laughs> um, but it was like, it must be very common because it was growing all over, like around the dandelions. Um, so I'm assuming it was just like a natural growing weed type thing. Um, but they were so pretty. I didn't want to pick a. I didn't want to pick too many of them because I like wasn't sure. I assumed that it was a weed, but I also like. I don't know. I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to like pick flowers that someone had planted. So I only took a handful. Oh, cute! That's the um. Those were paper flowers, right? That Amber was working on that a couple weeks ago and it's finished. And there's a little weaving I made for her like five years ago or something. Um, that looks great. I love the whole setup. What are we zooming in on, Mike? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that looks really cool. What did you use? I guess it's, is it beads? for the B, L, and M, and then the two paper flowers. I think that's what it looks like. It's really cool. Hmm. Now I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I think, um, cause like, I like this dress and I don't want to just like go all willy nilly on it. Um, I really like the way that these look. No, maybe I'll use this bright one. Canary Shimmer. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over like where it transferred, where I didn't really want it to transfer. I'm gonna do something on that layer all the way around and I'm gonna leave the rest of it blank and maybe like dip dye it or do something cool to like blend it all together. I'm going to play with this lime again. Um, maybe it's just with the blue.
Um, oh, they are. Oh, that's all just stuff you could find in the basement? That's cool. They, it's all, like, really nice stuff. <laughs> I feel like that's, I'm always like, oh, I should clean up and get rid of stuff. And like the last couple of weeks, I've been so happy that I have so much craft stuff just like already <laughs> lying around because I'm also just like using what I have. And I'm like, oh, I have a lot of cool stuff. I don't know how I can, I mean, I'm just going all the way around this. So I'll keep trying to move it as I go. I guess if you were like, like even though I know I said I'm like trying to be intentional with this dress and I am, but I'm also still like kind of testing. And I also have this idea in my mind now where I'm gonna do like some intentional pattern making um, tonight. And then like in my studio over diet a little bit with um, maybe some like I've been playing around I've just got a bunch of like natural diet extracts and spices and like different stuff that I've been playing around with so I might um, do some like dip dyeing at the bottom so I'm not being like super careful like you can see some of it's still transferring through or like going lower onto the dress um if you were trying to do this on like on a garment that you have, um, you could always like put a piece of cardboard in the middle to keep the layers separate. Um, honestly, I didn't expect it to transfer so much with the flower pounding. Like this is the back and it transferred through a lot. Um, but I don't, I'm not like upset about it because I'm gonna, continue working on it like I think the this little top part at the this like very top part might be the only thing that I keep as it is and everything else I'll probably just like play around with later um but yeah that's just if you want to do something like this on your own um you could totally be more careful about it than I'm being Oh, your mom's watching too. Hi. Thank you. Um, I wonder if, are you doing any crafts too? I'm curious. No pressure to do crafts. I appreciate just watching. 
it's nice. I wish I could see all of you too, but I'm happy that you can see me. It's like, I still, f I feel like we're together even though I'm the only one visible. It's still nice to know that you're all out there. I'm gonna play with this cabbage a little more too. I'm getting silent directions to move my fabric, which is good. She's eating pretzels. That's like crafting. <laughs> You're making pretzel dust <laughs> or something, or just enjoying yourself. That's great. Yeah, I like how these are like, I, yeah, I really like the ones that are abstract. I also want to try the big piece of cabbage I have and see um, if that does anything cool. Maybe, maybe I'll just go for it. Like, if this printed like that, that would be kind of cool. So I'll just stick with the blue. The blue is kind of nice and simple. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. That's kind of, I guess I kind of like that. I like this part. I'm going to do it all the way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm into this. Yeah, I like how sometimes it creates a lot of, um, like this last one I did, you can really sort of see the texture a bit better. Or even this, I mean, this one you can kind of tell that it's cabbage, but I don't know. I like that it's not totally clear. I feel like it probably has a lot to do with like, exactly how I'm applying the dye and exactly the pressure I'm putting and stuff. I don't really have much experience with block printing either, um, which is like what I'm trying to basically do like a block printing using these produce items. Um, but my limited understanding is that there's like a very specific amount of pressure that you need to put that you just kind of like feel. I 
think it's this camera has like an auto correct function and I think it's auto correcting incorrectly. I may need a minute. See if I give it a moment to register. Technical difficulty. Hmm. Maybe it wants to look at the cabbage. Oh, yeah, that worked. Did you do something? Oh, Mike didn't even do anything. It just worked. I don't understand. <laughs> we're learning. This is part of, we're like, we got all this equipment for um, our walks and then we couldn't walk. And so <laughs> um, part of why we're, doing these streams is to figure out how to use all of our equipment and it's things like that that I wouldn't even expect to be an issue and now we know and we know how to fix it cabbage the cabbage is what fixes it I know I know now <laughs> Good thing I had this cabbage. Um, Brittany's asking if we're going to do our walks when this is over. We are, yeah. Um, we, we're supposed to start walking. If anyone that's watching this doesn't know um, what I'm referencing, uh, Mike and I had this big plan that we've been talking about and planning for like over a year um, where we were going to walk every... Um, Monday through Friday, so five days a week, we're going to walk 26.2 miles around New York City. Um, so it's a marathon length walk. And the idea was to do that for a year. And after a year, we'd see every neighborhood in the five boroughs. Um, and we'll have a podcast that goes along with that. And it's a whole big plan. Um, and we're still really excited to do it. Um, but the timing of this is so nuts. We were supposed to start on March 20th, the first day of spring. Um, and March 13th was the last day of work for Mike. Um, and then the coronavirus came to New York and <laughs> March 13th wasn't only the last day of work for Mike, but it was the last day of work for everyone at his company. Um, they were all going to work from home. And then, um, yeah, these like shelter in place orders came out. And so we definitely can't walk 26.2 miles right now in New York. Um, it doesn't seem safe or responsible or respectful. Um, but yeah, as soon as like, we're kind of just taking it week by week. And like, as soon as it seems like something that checks those boxes of responsible, respectful, and safe. 
um, then yeah, we're definitely going to do it. And we're still excited to do it. And um, it's cool that we have, <laughs> it's cool that we can um, do this in the meantime. And we've been doing just like short little trips around the neighborhood, going to like a couple um, sort of like, I don't I guess they're landmarks in our neighborhood, um, like the local park and the local reservoir and um, a couple more like structural city places like in our area. Um, and we've been doing 360 video in those places, um, kind of like to give a little tour of it. Um, so I suggest checking that out too if anyone's interested. Um, but that's kind of like, that's more related to the project that we're going to be doing after um, the coronavirus is not an, an issue or as much of an issue at least. Um, and yeah, in the, in the meantime, we're, we're keeping ourselves busy. Um, I still have work as well. So, um, the idea was that I was going to spend a little less time at my dye studio um, and sort of pass a lot of my work off onto um, the people that, that work for me. Um, kind of go in to manage and make sure that things were going smoothly, but I have a number of people that have been working for me for a while now, and um, they were going to kind of do a lot of the production that I do um, with me just in part time and walking the other part time. Um, but now that we're not walking, I'm still, I'm kind of just doing all the production on my own with a little bit of like, there's been a little bit of work from home that can happen, but yeah, it's wild. The timing, it's kind of like, I don't know, lucky we're okay. And we were, re we were so ready for, like, a major life shift. And then it's just, like, a different life shift to, like, prep us for the life shift that we're ready for. Um, but yeah, whenever the walking does happen, we'll definitely, we will definitely be, uh, you'll know. We'll be, we'll be letting you know. <laughs> and we hope, like, once that happens, too, maybe people can join us. And I'm not going to get too ahead of myself, though. We're here now. I'm almost all the way around this dress. Hmm, okay, so I think that's kind of cool. I feel like I want something more, like there's all these little yellow specks now here. Um, maybe I should add, I guess I can just like push it on with my nail the way that I was doing before. I don't have to hammer again. Oh, thanks, Brittany. Yeah. Um, we're still, yeah, we're still really excited. And we are doing our best to stay positive about it. Let's see if this works again. Yes, it really is. The cabbage is really the answer. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I hope everyone watching too is is doing well and I don't know. I'm going to say like I hope you're all staying positive, but it's also fine if you're not. But if you're not, I hope that this crafting time can help you to not think about it. <laughs> Yeah, this works. I'm going to do this all the way around and then I might move on. I really like these little blossoms. I don't know what they are. Does anyone know what these are? I just like, it looks like they had fallen off a tree or something. I thought they were like pollen at first. I don't know if that's a thing. Mike said that maybe pollen is not just like one thing, that it's more like a part of a bloom or something. Part of a flower, part of the cycle of a flower. I don't really remember what we talked about. Um, but yeah, I found like a big pile of these on the ground. <laughs> What is the blue color? Um, it's just dye. This blue is a Procyon dye that is mixed with some seaweed to thicken it so I can paint it on. Um, but yeah, it's just regular dye. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Maybe it is pollen. <laughs> um, for a sec, I thought this was one of those Oh, <laughs> oh wow, we have a double fan. That's cool. <laughs> one old man fan and one non-old man fan. <laughs> Alter ego. Yeah, nice. Double thumbs. 
Um, for Than and anyone else that might just be arriving here, um, I've been printing with flowers, like the way I'm doing it right now, like actually rubbing the flower juice into the <laughs> into the fabric. Um, I also was like pounding it in with a hammer, and then I'm also using um, produce and leaves and um, bark and flowers to like block print with so applying the um ink or the paint or the dye to a thing and then putting it down and printing with it um and this is like not something that I do really so I think I've done like I've done some of this before but it's not like a thing that I know how to do so <laughs> So you're just seeing, you're just watch, you're just watching me like play around with this stuff right now, basically. I feel like I need a tool for this other than my finger. I can't really think of what though. Oh, I got some red in there. This is so precarious. It's really fun. It's like, I feel like it, if I feel like I, I'm like an animal digging in the mud or something. <laughs> Could I use a popsicle stick? Maybe. I don't have a popsicle stick. So I, I can't right now, <laughs> but that might work, yeah. I think I might sneeze again. <laughs> That's up. Maybe I won't, maybe I won't. A spoon or a foot, yeah, I feel like a spoon Spoon might be a good idea. Are you gonna get me a spoon? Mike's gonna get me a spoon. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Or a palette knife. Yeah, I do. I was thinking like I have like a book binding thing that I feel like would work, but I don't know. It's in my studio, and I feel like the palette knife is there too. But let's try the spoon. Let's have this camping spoon. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. Nice. The spoon.
Oh, I'm almost at the front again. Nice. Just when I got the spoon. Mike's eating Nutella on his spoon. He got me an empty spoon to pound flowers into fabric, and he got himself a spoonful of Nutella. That's fair. I can't be eating on camera. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm done with it. It's good. I'm going to dump this out. You can't really see that, but it's it has some yellow uh, all the way around it. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you can't really see it. You can see it in here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, it's not like super strong, but it's a nice little like layer of yellow texture. I'm gonna move on to the plant. Mike's gonna take a picture and shortly we will show it. It'll show it better. <laughs> well, that sounds really good. Cookie butter. Okay. So, wow. I don't know what I want to do with these. I kind of want something on the back pockets. I don't know what they want. Oh, wow, I don't know. <sighs> hmm. I got this little acorn cap, too. I thought that could maybe do something cute. We'll see. I mean, I could test. I guess I could test it on this tote bag. Yeah, let's see what this little acorn does. Uh, dye or paint is the question. Um, I should try the dye now. Oh, wait, that's That um, I have tried the cookie butter, and it's delicious. But it reminds me of this. There was this girl in my, like, I can't remember the whole thing, but she was in like one of my college classes, and um, we had to do like we had to make a. Oh, that looks cool. Wow, that looks really cool. <laughs> we had to make a collection like a fashion, you know, like a fashion collection and had to pick an inspiration and like everyone picked like pretty average, you know, like 
whatever, like average, like college inspiration stuff, like butterflies and like sunsets and different colors and like, or whatever, or like even some like more abstract conceptual like ideas. And then this one girl did a whole collection on cookie butter. <laughs> and it was like, and her presentation was basically just her being like, I love cookie butter. It's so delicious. It inspires me in every way. <laughs> it was so amazing. Um, and I, that's when I, that's when I tried it. Cause I was like, I guess it must be good. <laughs> it was just like so extreme. Let me decide what I want to do with this. I kind of just went for it because I do like the way the little acorn cap looks. Kind of looks better on the tote bag though than on the pants. Maybe. Hmm. Did the cookie butter inspire me? No. I mean, it was delicious. But that was the extent. Oh yeah, there's the, that's a better image. That's the whole dress. So it has the um, hammered flowers up at the top and then that row of like smushed in <laughs> uh, whatever little tiny yellow flowers and then the printing with the blue dye bottom. Yeah, and these little zoom in. Thank you, Max, for taking these photos. And there's a zoom in at the top. Yeah, nice. It's crazy that little, um, that little brown mark in the left, the bottom left hand corner of the top part there, like what we're looking at. Um, that like brown smudge, that was a bright green leaf that when it first transferred it was still bright green and then it turned brown just in like whatever however long it's been 
I have no sense of time. Ten minutes, an hour? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Less than a day. I think. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I really like the mark from wiping the brush, too. <laughs> the tote bag is going to be cute. <laughs> um, okay, I think, what should I do? What, I want to put, like, one, I'm thinking, like, maybe big cabbage print here. I'm going to try it. That'll be. But should I do blue or yellow? Oh, the blue's already showing up. Hmm. I'm going to do. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to do yellow because that's what I was doing. I, it's like, a, I don't know why. I'm feeling the pressure all of a sudden. Like, doesn't matter. I can always over dye anything. Oh, thanks, Amber. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I like the, um, I like using it as like a block, like to make a pattern, the, the vegetables and stuff. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I am not satisfied with that. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. I'm going to go over it. I'm going to use this bright green dye and go over it. It's either going to make it better or it's going to make it worse. <laughs> uh, there's only one way to find out. Better? <laughs> I think it's a little better. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need a little bit of time to like consider this some more. Ooh, those look good. See, it's like the things that I do that I'm not like trying to do that I like. And then when I think about it too much, it just is like kind of not ideal. Um, but whatever, I don't need to, it's fine. <laughs> um, maybe if I just like, now I'm just thinking about this pocket here and how I want it to look, and I'm not even thinking about the printing anymore. But maybe if I, like, rub a little pine cone on it. <laughs> What's that? Where's the one I was using? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm going to try that.
this little one. Mm. We'll figure this out. This will get figured out. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I should just leave it alone for now and come back to it. Oh, I'm losing a lot of brushes or a lot of bristles in my brush. It's a really old brush. Oh, I know what I can do. I can do the pine thing. That'll look cool. Yeah, that'll like, I feel like that'll make this a little bit more what I wanted. I'm gonna use the bright pink. Yeah, that's like a weird, that's just like a weird explosion. That's cooler than whatever. I don't know if, I'm still not like quite there, but it's cool. Oops. So. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, the pine cone does kind of look like splatter painting. That's true. It is cool. I think um, I think I might do pine cone on the knees too. It's like uh, those distressed jeans, but like also not at all. Where's the knee here? This. Yeah, I think I'll do some like blue pine cone on the knee. So that it looks like I rolled around and I kneeled in pine cone. This little pine cone looks like a little critter. I wonder if I should do the same color on the other knee or a different color. I think I'll just do a little bit more on the other knee and then I think I'll be done with these. the pink on the other knee. The pine cone might still have some of that blue. I hope it still has some of that blue on it because then it'll make like more purple. Oh boy, it does.
Oh, I shouldn't have let it sit there, huh? Oh well, I'll go over it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think those are good. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> here's the, here's how the pants turned out. Yeah, it's like so tiny. But yeah, you can see it. And then the back. That'll be cute. Cool. It goes over there. Ah, uh, I think that's our show. <laughs> um, that was fun. Uh, to recap here, what did we learn? We can. Turns out we can just uh, squeeze the color out of flowers with our fingernails if we want to. Um, we'll find out if those stick or not. I'm going to wash that puppy and I'll let you all know. Um, cabbage makes cool prints. Painting over pine needles makes cool prints. The leaf really looks like a leaf, which is cool. Uh, yeah, I guess the, the lesson here is that... <laughs> Um, pretty much anything, produce, flowers, leaves, like if you want to do this, just go ahead and go outside and collect a bunch of junk and um, try it and it'll work. Because <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I did. I really had no idea. I had a little idea. I had a little bit of an idea going into it, but like a very small idea. Um, but it seemed it pretty much all worked. Um, it was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you for the pocket compliment. I am happy with them too. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time watching and crafting along. Um, I appreciate those of you that were here along with me and commented and, um, I got to chat with a little bit that way. That was really nice for me. Um, and those of you that have not commented and shown your face. Um, that's also fine. I hope you enjoyed being here. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, we would love a subscribe. If you have, thank you. We're almost at our 100 subscriber mark where we can like make our YouTube page look a little nicer. Um, and if you haven't watched any of our 360 videos, check them out. They're really cool. Um, yeah, and tune in next week. We'll be back. We'll be back at 8 p.m. Tuesday for craft work next week. Thanks for coming. See you later.